Hey guys, so today I'm going to be making peanut butter bacon dog cookies and of course I'm going to be making these partially for Willow. Of course she walked away, but also my mom and I's friend, they have a new dog so we're going to go take them some of those cookies as well. So yeah, pretty much this is just like the peanut butter recipe I would do before Stacy's recipe. The only thing I'm changing is oats, having oats and of course the bacon part, which I already have like cooked and everything. You can see here, all chopped up. And so yeah, in my mixing bowl, first thing I'm gonna add in is my peanut butter. This is like all of the new peanut butter we just made for Willow, because we like to give it to her and her Kong and everything. And this is like all of it, but you should be getting it back too. Let's see. Oh, she's looking at her lips. Trying to get as much as I can off Willow. Here you go. Then I'm going to add in the rest of my wet ingredients, which is my egg. And then milk. There go. Now I'm going to be mixing together my wet ingredients. Now that I have all of this combined, I'm going to be adding in my dry ingredients. And so this is the wheat flour. My all-purpose flour. Because I like to do a mix ones together, and then my oats. Oh, and the last one, baking powder. Now I'm going to mix all this together, and my dough should start to really come together. So it only took like just like a couple seconds and it immediately started to form together which is nice. And now I'm going to add in my pieces of bacon, there we go. So now I'm going to start cutting these out. I have three very tiny cookie cutters just so it's like you know an easy treat to give them. I have like a little kind of flower shape, a butterfly, and a heart, because I thought it was kind of like spring, and Willow's upset that she has to wait for the cookies. But yeah, that seems like a pretty good thickness. So I'm just going to keep, it goes this way, I'm going to keep cutting out all the cookies, and then I'm going to bake them at 325 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 minutes. So here are the final cookies, and then I have another tray over here, they're not completely cool down, but we ended up baking them for actually 25 minutes. You can see they're nice and golden brown on the bottom, and they're still like nice and easy to break, a nice little crunchy cookie. So of course I'm going to give Willow a taste. She's got yogurt all over her chin because I'm giving her some. But of course she loves it. Oh, she loves them. Oh. But yeah, of course Willow loves them and I'm excited to go take them to my friend's house. And his dogs, of course, their dogs, of course, will love them. If you guys enjoyed today's video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content.